everyone. I am the Humble Apprentice here on Witches of the Moon. This week is a vlog week, so it um, it is about our day, what we do, how we live our life. Right? My company, where I work, gets government so we are not allowed to record anywhere in or around the, um, the plant company. So I will take you around uh, what I do, you know, on occasion after work once I get off. There is there are actually two rivers that run through my town, and so I really enjoy um, the energy, um, the cleansing effect, the power of the water, and I, my goal is to go there after work and um, refill, recharge my batteries, you know. get rid of any tension or any stress um, that I felt during my day. Just let it go and get in touch with, center myself, get in touch with my emotions, get ready to be a part of my life and my children's life and be able to feel more in tune with the, with the world and, and not be in the mundane completely. And I'll be closed off to my emotions. I'll be closed off to my feelings and the sensations that I need as a person to feel alive. To feel good. So here we are. I'm going to pause the video because I need to remove you from your little perch. Okay, so here we are at one of the parks that I go to. Uh, there's those trees in the background. Some of them are ash. Some of, our, uh, some of them are cottonwood. I will flip perspective so we can, we can look at them. One second. Okay, so here we go. I come down this path and I walk and I mean, it doesn't look that big, right? Just, wait, hold on. It is massive. Oh, there we go. The majesty of this tree is just amazing. As we get closer, you will see the majesty, the vastness, <laughs> you know, the circumference. I mean, it's huge. I, I, I can get like half of the tree, not even half, like I would need three arms, uh, the, the width of three of my, you know, arms to be able to hug it completely but I, I do I come over here and I right now I'm just gonna touch it but oh it's so grounding it's it's just has this beautiful healing comfort this energy of peace and love and it's just it, it grounds me it takes all my stress away and it just takes it down its roots and transforms it. It's wonderful. So I would like to think that that is his partner here. It's a younger tree, a little bit more slender, but it's 
equally as tall. And majestic. And there are three more over there. This little trio, gorgeous. So then I continue down the path. And I'll pause it for a minute. And so I walk down here to this river where the small river joins the larger river and I just listen to the moving of the water feel <laughs> this wonderful energy that comes from spending time in this beautiful land. So we'll just sit here a minute and then we'll head onto a different location. because a lot of the wild plants will grow into the walking trail. So they come with a huge tractor mower. And although, although I'm sorry that the plants get damaged, but sometimes I collect uh, the plants that have been cut down by the mower that have overgrown into the path. So I use uh, wild mint, Virginia wild mint, I believe it's called. And it's, it's very, very strong. It smells very minty, um, but very herbal. It kind of reminds me of like marjoram, very minty, very, very uh, strong herbal uh, smell. And I use it in my, smudge. I uh, change it from sage to mint or include them both depending on the purpose 
of what I'm making or what I'm going to use a smudge for. Um, but I find that mint is very cleansing, cleaning, clearing, healing. Uh, therefore, it's it does the same to the air and to the atmosphere when you use it as in, in the smoke form. Well, we're here, so let's see. Okay. Oh, it's the afternoon. It's getting a little dark. All the little insects and creatures, they are you know, playing their symphony. It's gorgeous. Okay. Here we have some vervain. This is hoary vervain. It's uh, related to blue vervain, but it is of the vervain family, verbena. Actually, um, here we have some, look, you could see. <laughs> I don't know if the tractor or what came through here, but something came through here. Okay, so this actually is Black Eyed Susan, but it is, uh, it is mixed with the coneflower. So it is actually a hybrid. So it's not just Black Eyed Susan. It has uh, some of the, so it's like a cone Black Eyed Susan. Um, and you see a lot of these that combine with each other they become hybrids, hybridize themselves. And here we have the mint, the Virginia wild mint. Look at that. And it's everywhere. It's, it's wonderful. This is what I'm talking about. See when they're kind of damaged, but this one is not. This one, it's just tipped over a little bit. Okay, you see all the little creatures on the mint. And then over there, we have Monarda or Bee Bomb. The purple Bee Bomb. And you see the trails of the tractor when the lawnmower came around and it knocked over this gorgeous sunflower. Now they are not the massive sunflowers that we're used to. These are the natural prairie sunflowers. And hopefully it wasn't too damaged and hopefully it will survive. Okay. Here I believe that we have some other, a different type of sunflower. The leaves are very similar. I am not certain about this one, so don't quote me, please. <laughs> I know that it's yellow and it looks beautiful. It's gorgeous. So we'll walk here a little along the trail. It's beautiful, gorgeous. Oh, here we go. Here we have Rattlesnake Master. <laughs> the name, I love the name when I first found out about it. Sorry, that was my hand. It's just, you know, and, and they dry beautifully. Let me see. Oh, and it's just wonderfully a little very mild aroma of citrus and and they love it here all these plants just love this land and I could imagine what it looked like when we had large prairies of these flowers and these plants everywhere there we have echinacea 
And Echinacea is kind of peppered everywhere. So is the Black Eyed Susan. The mint grows like in patches. It likes to grow like around the edges. Uh, but yes, as you can tell, I love, love, love this place. It's, it speaks to my heart. Okay, so we'll walk back because it's getting dark and there's one more place that I like to go after work. Yeah, this is the open field. They planted um, maybe wheat. I'm not sure. Last year they had corn. It was it was beautiful and it shaded this area a little bit because it tends to dry up. But there are homes over there and um, it's it's a it's a good size, but it could always be bigger. <laughs> okay, it's getting dark. We're losing light quickly. There's just one more place that I really want to go to because. This is where I like to come. This is um, the boat launch, but it's just gorgeous, you know? Man, the energy here is just magnificent. Hopefully I won't get you. <laughs> Nauseous, motion sickness. But yes, I come here to collect driftwood. I come here. To honor the water, the element of water. To touch and connect. To cleanse. In the daytime, sometimes I'll come over and uh, sit on one of these rocks and just enjoy the scenery, listen to the children, their laughter, the adults teaching the children, guiding them. Protecting them. Even the boats <laughs> moving around in the water. It's not disruptive. You would think it'd be annoying, <laughs> but it's not. I, I thought it would have been annoying. So. There wasn't really a sunset because it's cloudy today. But just sitting here and listening to the water hit the rocks. Sometimes I see little frogs. Sometimes you'll be looking out into the horizon and a fish will jump out of the water. And so after I come here I can go home. I can enjoy my children and I can deal with life. And I try to 
center myself and organize my mind. And even though I live so close to this place, you know, sometimes you get distracted and it takes me days, if not months, to come out here. But even in the winter, I'll come out here and I'll sit in the car and I'll just enjoy the openness and just wait impatiently <laughs> for summer to arrive again. So thank you, thank you very much for watching this video. I am the Humble Apprentice here on Witches of the Moon. And I will leave you with this gorgeous evening snapshot of one of my favorite places to be, to sit and to hold space.